channel welcome back to the another video and this is obviously a 24 hour usage video in which i use i was 18.5 beta 3 for 24 hours and here is that how the 24 hours went i will be talking about the battery life and performance and will be sharing geek bed score so without any further delay let's dive into this video and how the day was with the ios 18.5 beta 3 also it's just the first day so i was take couple of days to get better so don't judge it definitely a three day review video will also come out after like three days so let's get dive into this video so for the battery i will go into the settings into the battery let the battery stats load over here as you can see last night i wasn't able to charge my phone much but anyways over here now this is the day where i was using i was 18.5 beta 3 and i used exactly 50 percent as you can see and i got 5 hours and 31 minute screen on time now during this time i use whatsapp a lot i use tiktok instagram photos app and some other applications as you can see now home and lock screen also consumed a lot of battery life as you can see now this is basically because of the widgets i have a couple of widgets on my home screen as you can see one widget is over here here is a widget stack as you can see another widget over here and some widgets over here as you can see and these widgets also consume battery life obviously and this is why it is showing that but yeah it's a decent screen of time i will not say it is the best it is good it is decent but definitely i know it will get better like after using it for a couple of days it will for sure going to improve a lot now let's talk about the uh, Geekbench score so for that i will go into the Geekbench over here first we will talk about the cpu benchmark i run this this benchmark after installing the update 18.5 beta 3 i got 3290 on a single core while 8200 on a multi-core a single core is slightly higher than the normal one than the average one just four point difference and the um multi-core is slightly higher which is very nice i ran the score again after using it for a while at this time i got better scores 33 41 on a single core while 82 13 on a multi-core so this is quite higher as you can see which is a very nice thing i also ran the gpu benchmark a couple of times over here the first one was 27987 as you can see and it is higher than the average one i ran the score again and this time it is 27950 again scores are decent but they are lower than the uh, beta 2 beta 2 scores were better on the gpu benchmark and i guess on the cpu history if i go over here on the cpu history beta 2 scores were also better so definitely it's just just a one day i will like run the test again for a three day review that video will come out very very soon so this is all with the battery life and the uh, geek best score so in usage performance is nice i am not having any sort of issue things are going really decent now if i talk about what is new with the ios 18.5 beta 3 well there is nothing much new over here not a single noticeable thing even if i go to the release notes of ios 18.5 beta 3 they are not kind of updated this is like beta 1 18.4 beta 1 going on over here i don't know why it is 18.4 beta 1 um that that was actually an issue that was going on 18.4 beta 1 that was fixed with the previous update previous beta but there is nothing much with this update with these release notes so yeah this was just a bug fixes enhancements in the background and a very simple update now which ios version you guys are using let me know in the comment section below i will definitely come up with more videos regarding this but so far everything is working nice also since now apple is on a weekly cycle we are expecting ios 18.5 beta 4 to come out next week maybe around 28th of april fingers crossed well this is all from this video and i hope to catch you guys in my next video until then take care peace out